I got head. Prince has a song called Head. You ever heard that song? How's it go? Head till you're burning up. Head till you get enough. Head till your love is red. Head love you till you're dead. That's the chorus. Sounds a good song I can get behind. Juice! Welcome back to our show with Rags and Ansel Corbett. I'm Rick. You follow us Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 uh, dummies when you're thinking the best film of the year. RRR. Overall. Overall, RRR is the best film of the year. You? I don't know. It's when not RRR. I mean, that's the most enjoyable in terms of, like, fun film. It's like a Marvel film. It's, it's, it's hard to beat. But no. No? Wouldn't be. Wouldn't I, even nominate it? No, I would. I, okay. I, I wouldn't have a problem putting it but in can, But you can't think of a, a one you would say that is... Well, I, I, I loved... There's just, I've always had got a lot of good films. Love Hostel was spectacular. Love the Hostel. Pinkest film was great. Dubai, uh, uh, Shafali, uh, the Jaisa. Ba Bahai Du. Yep. Badai Du. Absolutely. That would probably be overall. Yeah, in terms of now, the new ones that came out this year. I love every one of those things. Every one of those films we watched. Bang, bang, bang. Loved every one of them. But nothing has touched RRR. Yeah, well, in, uh, in anything I've seen in American cinema anywhere. It's the yeah, best it's movie of the year so far. It's a great one, me. man. For yeah. sure. Uh, anyways, today we got a information on why sandalwood is so expensive. You know sandalwood? Yep. Uh, it's a tree that's grown in a specific... Part. I didn't realize it was extremely expensive. Sandalwood? Yes. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. And it's only... I think it only comes from India, honestly. I think that's the only place he actually... That, I think I remember hearing. And I... We do know in Pushpa, he was, uh, they were... Yep. Doing this thing. So sweet. I don't remember who it was, but there was a stupid baby that sent me a really long... I extensive article about sandalwood and because the, the, they took exception to are not liking Pushpa mm. and said maybe this will help you appreciate more Pushpa's storyline of the sandalwood aspect. It didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <I'm> very sorry. <laughs> That's okay though. Yeah. I'm glad you loved it. I, I try, we don't want movies to be bad. Also you can have a different opinion than ours. Exactly. Always. Always. No. They are motion pictures. But if it's the opposite of my opinion, you're wrong. wrong. Here we go. <laughs> That's a cool machine. This is one of the most expensive woods in the world. I'll and give you some expensive. It's only one portion of a sandalwood log that makes it so valuable. To get to it, these men tirelessly chop away the lighter outer layer of sapwood until to they're left the with interior. this. The dark inner core that makes a kilogram of Indian sandalwood costs two hundred dollars today. This is where sandalwood's unique fragrance comes from, and when it's distilled, it's used in all kinds of products, from bath soaps to luxury brand perfumes. So, what makes sandalwood's aroma so special, well, and is that why the wood it. is so expensive? Uh, already, I can tell. Your mom knows about some expensive wood. Native to South India, Santalum album or Indian sandalwood was used for hundreds of years before becoming a go-to scent for expensive perfumes. It's also been used for wood carvings and medicine, and it's even considered a sacred tree in several religions. Once distilled, sandalwood's sweet, woodsy aroma retains its scent for decades. Hmm. Didn't know that. This is the crude oil portion. This we take separately and uh, it is weighed, and uh, it is handed over to stores department. After harvesting, the forestry department sells sandalwood at auction to factories like this one in Mysore. This is a jet focal class of uh, sandalwood uh, we have received from uh, Marayur in uh, Kerala. This uh, we are going to process uh, in next week. So this is the wood. Hollow heartwood logs are classified as jet focal, one of the 18 classes of Indian sandalwood. 
Factories can purchase pure heartwood like Chichpokal or raw sandalwood logs. But if they buy the raw wood, they'll need to break down each log themselves. Although a machine helps split sandalwood into more manageable pieces, stripping the logs down to their hardwood core requires the effort of several employees. It is totally manual process wow. and a very skilled process. In a physically demanding process, these men chop each log to remove the sapwood, the non-fragrant portion of sandalwood. I want to see his bicep. You can see the brown portion. I want to see his hands. This is uh, hardwood. The outer portion uh, is called uh, sapwood and the exterior portion is bark. Pure heartwood is the most valuable class of sandalwood. In some trees, pure heartwood is easier to extract because it forms in one circle at the center. Mm. In other trees, the heartwood mixes together with sapwood, oh which impacts the final value That's of the oil. This brown portion is hardwood and uh, this uh, white portion is sapwood. So, so it is mix of both hardwood uh, and uh, sapwood. That's why it is called mixed wood. So it is a little bit uh, inferior quality as regard to sandalwood oil contents. After employees have gathered all they can, a machine breaks down the strips of wood into chips. Employees do a sift through these chips to grab any leftover pieces of usable hardwood. By hand. Wow. Then a separate machine turns those chips into powder. Now, distillation can begin. The process is long, and it starts with injecting steam into distillation stills. After the oil is extracted, all that's left are these giant mounds of powder. But even with most of the oil gone, some of the scent still lingers. Rather than going to waste, it's used to make incense sticks I was gonna and say incense, yeah. a common form of incense in India used during religious rituals. Wow. During the final stages, workers separate the oil from water and purify it until they're left with a totally clean tank of sandalwood oil. It takes Mahadeva's team about a week to distill one metric ton of oil. Tanks of the purified oil are sent to a lab in Bengaluru. Here, researchers test each batch for quality. They smell samples of the oil to confirm the aroma is consistent across batches. Sandalwood's unique and long-lasting scent makes it compatible with a wide range of other fragrances, which is why it's an ideal base for perfume. So sandalwood oil is a woody compound. It is a base compound. It uh, lingers around uh, more than 24 hours. It is not like that, that orange oil or uh, jasmine like. After the oil is tested, it heads to another factory where it will be used to make soap for Karnataka Soap and Detergents Limited, or KSDL. <laughs> okay, this is the final finished uh, oil. It's the color of the oil, uh, that uh, finished product, perfume, what we are using for uh, Mysore Sandal Soap fragrance. KSDL is one of the biggest producers of sandalwood oil products globally. Although its primary focus is soap, like the company sells there bottles for a into sandalwood oil Can you get too. A free one? <laughs> one 10 gram bottle of sandalwood oil costs 5,500 rupees, or about $74. Wow. I bet, I bet your daughter it is very expensive. I, bet. The common I know people she like, does. Uh, me and you, know she does. you cannot afford to pay 3,000 rupees for 5 gram of sand oil. In every uh, auction, uh, there used to be increase in the price of sandalwood. Uh, maybe by 10%, 20% uh, increase compared to previous prices. So when the sandalwood uh, price increases, home, maybe sandalwood. Uh, definitely oil prices will also increase. That's the one that Indrani's always used, and it's beautiful. Compared to 2017, a kilogram of Indian sandalwood oil can cost double today. And demand isn't slowing down, with the market expected to reach over $165 million by 2027. Out of roughly 10 sandalwood species, Indian sandalwood and Australian sandalwood have the largest commercial value. The difference is, the Indian species has higher levels of alpha and beta santalol, the components in sandalwood responsible for its lasting scent and believed health benefits. India used to dominate the market for sandalwood oil and oil-based products. But in recent years, Australia, which grows both the Indian and Australian sandalwood species, has gained significant ground in the market. Although this might look like a lot of sandalwood, India is actually facing a supply shortage. In fact, the supply is so limited that this sandalwood distillery only operated for about four months in 2021. Wow. 
And up until 2002, it was illegal for private growers to plant sandalwood trees in the southern states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. With only a small amount of government-sanctioned replanting alongside the over-harvesting, India's supplies suffered. Why can't they plant and since this? 2018, the species has been considered vulnerable, to to one level above endangered. Another factor that limits supply and increases the price is inherent to the way the tree grows. Older trees tend to yield more oil, which makes them preferable for oil production. Growers will typically wait around 20 years for a tree to mature. This waiting period doesn't only limit the quantity of sandalwood, it also puts the trees at risk. It's not uh, the seasonal crop. Uh, it is a long-lasting uh, crop. It needs uh, very patience to grow and uh, you need to protect till its maturity. That is the one uh, issue you have to bear in mind. Today, every tree has to be registered with the government and can't wow. be harvested or transported without permission. Wow. But even these strict regulations aren't enough to prevent theft. I can imagine. According to Hinduism Today, roughly 2,000 tons of smuggled sandalwood passed through the black market smuggling. in 2018. The smuggling of Correct. sandalwood. To successfully sandalwood. grow the trees for decades, farmers must pay the cost to protect them. Here in the city of Mysore, some trees are wrapped in barbed wire. On top of this threat, harvesting these trees isn't simple. When a farmer has approval, a government official must come in person to uproot the entire tree. None of the tree should be wasted, particularly heartwood in the trunk and roots, since it holds the highest oil content. In the end, the tree's total oil output isn't much. So you may get around 60 grams of sandalwood oil out of 1 kg of root portion sandalwood. In case of stem, you may get around 40 grams to 50 grams. In branches, about 30 grams to 40 grams. To replenish some of its trees, the Karnataka state government created the Grow More Sandalwood program. Around 360 farmers are enrolled in our Grow More Sandal project. And we are encouraging farmers to grow more, grow more and more sandalwood. And after minimum 14 years of age, we can buy back. But growing trees comes with the cost of protecting them for decades at a time, yep. something that likely will still deter farmers. There are also the permissions growers need from the government, which slow down the process. It's uncertain if programs like this can return India to its old production levels. But at a minimum, the effort might help restore some of the country's lost sandalwood supply. <laughs> wow, that was really informative. Yeah, yeah, I love these videos that we get to watch um, because they're so informative and about a, um, a industry usually yeah. in India that is that is usually hurting uh, because obviously India's I know technically the India's been around for less than a hundred years but it hasn't it's been around so, for thousands of the oldest years. Yeah. known civilizations on the on planet the, on the planet um, so like so they've been doing this stuff for a long long time mm -hmm. right um, and also if like we ever I we've talked about it before like if we ever one day like are working enough like in in Indian films, it's like we have steady work. We'd love to get a place in India. If like we lived in India for a, a while, I would love to be able to do something like almost like Dirty Jobs does. Exactly, like going around, go to them videos and right. one not promote, but also try like no help out Agreed. for the day. Ra rather rather than watch an informational video, create one of our own in person and, and see these places. Do it I absolutely. Would That's love obviously to do a dream that. thing uh, if we ever get to. Uh, um, stay in India for an extended, extended period of time period. with our families, um, which I would love to be able to do one day. Yeah, I think me too. Be, I think that'd be so cool to live in India for a substantial amount of time. Yeah, uh, one, there's so many, time. so many things you could do in like video-wise and just obviously work-wise. Interview-wise, work-wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, hanging out with stupid babies. So, yeah. so So many much. different things. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's like imagine... Oh, we need to make another studio. Imagine <laughs> our two-week trip turned into a you know six month yeah It'd be amazing but anyways it would be that's one of the, the dream projects uh, i don't know if we'll get to do it i hope we will yeah um but it's so, stuff like this i would love to be able to go to this place for a day or two and right. just do their job and like just actually cut the wood and, yeah and then and see what else you can do like talk to the people talk to the farmers and get some the practical things and maybe through six degrees of separation connect them to people who aren't connected especially here in america like there's so many things we've seen like the the making of the saris and other things where we could just 
make different connections to different people in ways then that expand the network out to people who can support them. So yeah, anyways, great video. Please yeah. let us know other informational videos we can react to, please, down below. Hey!